Libra, welcome to your reading. I hope that you enjoyed the speed shuffle. Let's get started with this reading. So the overall energy that's coming in is truth, the raven spirit. So you are definitely in the mood for truth. Your person looks like they're being honest. I get the energy also of Mystic Meadow, the sanctuary. You also are having a very transformative time in your life. We have Butterfly Spirit. So you and your person are both going through this combined energy of being at a stage in your lives where there's a lot of change. All right. So the overall energy of the reading, though, is Eight of Wands, passion, communication, travel, enjoyment, really being very, like, very physically active with each other as well as emotionally active. So when we look at the energy of your person in terms of their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions, we will clarify everything also with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. But we see your person has you in this energy of, in terms of their thoughts, is that they're really seeing you as a very good friend, somebody with whom they can be very passionate. But the Two of Coins tells me that they're keeping some of their options open. Um, I get the feeling that you may feel as though this is a friends with benefits kind of relationship because the Five of Wands are very ego driven right now. In their heart space, they are wounded from some sort of a relationship in which somebody was very overtly selfish with them. Uh, normally we like the Queen of Wands energy, but in this particular reading with the Hanged Man and with the Five of Coins, we see this energy of your person just feeling in their heart space like they don't have anything to give right now except passion, enthusiasm, sort of being the life of the party. So their heart space seems as though they're in a healing place at the moment. In terms of their intentions with you, they do intend to open their heart. They are watching you very carefully. They're looking for answers. They're studying the situation. And we see that they really are trying to make things better. They're trying to heal themselves. They feel as though they've gone through the mill with a particular circumstance. Could be work, could be anything. But right now, their focus is on just trying to, to heal, to be better. In terms of their actions towards you, they are willing to tell the truth. And we get the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth card for our Libra friends. It's especially important. The Ace of Swords is a truth, and we can see both of you are being very honest with each other, which is quite beautiful. The Two of Wands, again, says that this person is not ready to make a decision. They're not ready to make a commitment. They're very much in the energy of having fun, enjoying themselves, going through a healing, and they, want, they like being with you because you represent... Uh, basically a mystic meadow, a magical place in which they feel very safe to explore. So let's look and see what the Heaven and Earth Tarot can tell us more about this reading, Libra. All right, so I love this deck. Both of these decks are quite beautiful, and they're quite different. Okay, so let's see what we have. The Eight of Wands energy, why is it here? The world card. So your person has gone through a cycle in which they they may have traveled the world too. The two of you may travel the world and that's what I'm seeing. You may be from different cultures, different countries, different ethnicities. You may speak different languages, uh, but you share a very passionate desire to look at the world and to play. use the world as your playground. So the Five of Wands, you may meet this person traveling also. If you haven't already met them, you may meet them traveling. So the Five of Wands, why is it here? So that is a card of ego-driven, sort of low-grade arguing. So the Princess of Cups tells me that your person is a flirt. It tells me that, but they actually are much more serious than you think they are because they come across with this very flirty energy, sort of ego-driven. 
the first impression of this person is that they could be very much a player. But interestingly enough, it's also clarified by the Emperor card. The Emperor card is a King of the Kings. The King of the Kings does not play. The King of the Kings knows what they want. The Star card, healing. So your person looks as though they're coming into this with a, they think of you as a person with whom they could and would change their mind about playing the field. We, that emperor card is like, oh goodness, no, 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 no. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, you are on the natural seventh house cusp of Aries energy. And so that, when we get the emperor, we have an Aries energy. The star card is about healing. It's about having a love that's so beautiful. The inside, they see you, Libra. When they think of you, they see you as a rock star of women or men or whoever, spiritually speaking. They see you as a rock star in love. The star card, look at this, is also their intention to enjoy you, to let their guard down, to not be so closed off. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Coins is like juggling people. The Seven of Cups is keeping their options open. So as they came into this relationship, they thought, well, we're just going to have fun. And now they're starting to rethink it. When we get the Hermit card, there we go. There's the rethinking. <laughs> so the Hermit card is always searching for answers. It's, it's Virgo energy. It's seeking enlightenment and wisdom making sure that they do the right thing. The Three of Cups is clarified by the Three of Swords. So it looks as though this person entered the relationship thinking that this would be friends with benefits and they realize that they're developing feelings for you. The Three of Swords, they don't want to share you. They do not want to share you. And when you were okay with it, when you were in the Two of Coins energy, like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, because you really weren't ever fighting them, Libra. Your feeling was a wait and see attitude. But we see your person realizing that they do not want you uh, feeling like you're in competition with anybody else because they are choosing you, though that was not their thought. It was not their intention. <laughs> it was not what was in their heart space or isn't currently that they would be exclusive with you. But now there's this feeling that you're highly desirable, you know, that you are not only, you know, the, the star, the rock star, but they see you as a transformative person in their life where in, in the past they have kept their heart really closed off and now look at this energy. The death energy says that in their heart space, they are transforming literally with this butterfly spirit transformation. They are transforming their feelings about what they want with you, but their, their feelings are very much that you are a sanctuary and that you're quite beautiful. So the early part of the reading is sort of falling by the wayside. You are surprising this person, Libra. You are taking them by surprise. The hanged man is clarified by the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this person wants to take action in their heart space and that action, oh, I love it. That action, I can't read this very well without my glasses, so please forgive me if I take a minute to kind of hold it up close. So we get perfect success, 10 of cups energy, 10 of cups energy. They are flying in your direction. You know, they were thinking, oh yeah, I'm just hanging out with Libra. Now they're like, I better hustle over and see what Libra's up to because I want happiness with Libra. Libra, you have changed this person's mind. They didn't enter this relationship thinking that you were going to be their significant other and they're going through a rebirth. So why is the Queen of Wands here? Well, we have the Moon card. We have the Moon card, the Queen of Pentacles, the, we have the five of coins. Okay, the, so this really does tell a story. The hanged man, they were hung up on somebody else. They were hung up on somebody with this energy of the, Air, the Aries queen. And we really see them. They, they were trying to keep their options open in case this person came back 
And now, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Because the two of coins and the two of coins, now they have decided that they want you. In their heart space, they've had such happiness with you. They really see you as their divine partner. The Ten of Cups is being married happily ever after for the pure joy of it, not for any kind of economic gain, not for anything other than pure love. The truth speaks. So now we see them intending to let their heart, their guard down. They're watching you very carefully. The Two of Swords, they're at peace with it, but they haven't told you that they love you yet. They do intend on telling you soon. Okay, right now the Two of Swords says they're not speaking, they're not talking, but we see prudence. This person is in there in this Eight of Pentacles energy. They are manifesting this relationship. They're getting to know you. When the time is right, they plan on absolutely revealing what they want with you and making an offer. Here we go. They go, you, look at that, full energy. So their intention is to absolutely ask for a beginning with you, a new beginning that is not friendship. It's all about the clarity, the truth, the clarity, and the honesty of wanting this beautiful six, excuse me, beautiful star card energy, six of swords. They got themselves into trouble with you because they came across as, no, no, I'm just, you know, I'm hanging out here. Yeah, you're nice, but... I don't know, Libra, you know, I'm at this point in my life where I'm not really sure I'm going to do anything significant. And look at, they go from the Six of Swords after realizing who you are, Libra. Six of Swords trying to heal the relationship. This is their intention. Right up to the Lover's card. Another Six of making the choice. And when you look at the Lover's card, they're both very enlightened. It's like a gift from the heavens, and that's how they see you. So let's see what we have. The Ace of Swords, tell us what the truth is. The truth is this came as a total shock to your person. Shock and awe, the Tower card, all of their illusions about love have been shattered. They realize that when love is real, that the Queen of Cups, you represent somebody kind, loving, gentle, somebody that would actually choose them and they could choose you safely. So I do think that your person is somebody who probably is very successful and a lot of people try to attract your person to them so that they can get financial gain. And so that was, was what I see as sort of the underlying cause of all of this feeling of frustration in your person's life. The Eight of Swords says that their actions are going to be clarified by, ooh, going from not taking any action to a big cup of love, a sweet offer of love. I believe they're going to offer you a vacation or a trip somewhere. I feel as though they will reveal their intentions with you with the World card, the Eight of Wands, and the Sun card. The King of Cups, Divine Partnership. Oh, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with any of the signs, but this is a beautiful reading. Libra, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Please tell me what you think of this thoughts, feelings, intentions reading. If you like the format, please let me know in the comments below. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.